Hello everybody, Mas Bacio here and welcome. So in this video we are going to create a grass texture that is this is actually a, an old technique. It's usually most for games but today we are going to use this for GLSL rendering so I think it also works for um, cycles or blender internal but for that I recommend you using particle system and there is lots of tutorial how to do it using particle system but in this case for for achieving this kind of style we are going to make it something like this and yeah so basically this is a stacked texture so I made this transparent dot texture make a one two three four five six of them and the bottom part is the big dot texture and the last one is the smallest dot so we are going to stack it like this and the big one is gonna be on the bottom and the smallest one is gonna be on the top so yeah and what else let's just start making this thing we make a new scene new and we're gonna be disable only render and start display we're going to create a plane after we create this plane we are going to add a subdivision modifier and make it subdivision surface and increase the subdivision into 3 and check the simple button so it's going to nice and square and apply it now we have a plane something like this so we go to the edit mode and enable proportional editing and we are going to make something like terrain and now we go to exit edit mode and we make this into a smooth setting and we're going to apply a material in it so we're going to make a new material and decrease the specularity level into zero and we are going to apply a new texture because I already imported so I have it here and make it a grass texture and we change into a material and this is dark so we are going to have to add a lamp shift A add lamp we are going to add hemi light and then we forgot to UV unwrap it so we select this plane and press tab to enter the edit mode and A A to select all and to the setting and UV we click unwrap and press tab to exit the edit mode so now we are going to create the grass plates first we are going to duplicate this plane shift D and drag it slightly up and then on the material we are going to make it a another material by pressing this 2 in here 
and go into the texture also press this on 2 and then we're gonna add a new transparent material new and move this into up and we select the texture number 1 and then we are going to disable color and use alpha and use transparency I think and change make the transparency the alpha all the way down like that so when we use this it's something like this and now this is too big and we're gonna make it uh, smaller on this mapping section we're gonna change the X into 50 and the Y into 50 also and it looks something like that and now when we see the texture it's not much so we're going to duplicate this shift D and drag it again slightly up like so and now we are going to make it a new material so we press this to make it single user and we're going to change this and make it two also and this grass texture also and we select again the transparent texture and we are going to select uh, the number two and then we don't have to do anything about it because we already make it a uh, on the previous setting and now we're going to add another mesh shift D and stack it and make this two again and so it's something like that but as you can see here this is a lots of uh i don't know gray stuff in it and we don't want that and so the way we do it is we gonna change from blender render into the blender game and we are going to change the i make a mistake there we we should be changed that on the beginning Z and we select a number two and change it from opaque into alpha clip and uh, number three also number four number five eh. something like that so yeah and this is a uh, looks not too realistic so we are going to make the bottom part and so the the ground part is slightly darker so the way we do it is we're gonna change the lightness of this material into slightly dark probably like that and on the texture setting we are going to make it so the bottom one is dark and the top one is gonna be a light one from mixator into a multiply and it looks too dark we're gonna make it a uh, light 
probably something like that and we also gonna select the second material and make it multiply also make it slightly darker like so and on the uh, the third material gonna change into multiply and make it slightly darker oops sorry wrong select the grass texture and make it multiply and change this into slightly darker and so yeah it's more or less something like this yeah thank you for watching and i hope this is useful for some of you and if it's not so i don't know what to do about it and so thank you for watching and see you again on my next video probably and bye bye